you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with Cody Carter. And check this out. I'm going to introduce Cody here in just a second. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to him. And Cody's going to give us some gold nuggets today. Cody's going to maybe just share a little bit with us um, about how he sold almost 1,100 cars in 2019. Okay. Obviously, Cody's goal this year is 1,300. And obviously, it's April 1st, 2020. So we are in the middle of the coronavirus. And I asked Cody, I said, Cody, is the goal going to go down? And I would like for him to share with you what he said. And I'd love for Cody to share with you not only how he has sold 1,100 cars last year, but how he's going to continue to not just maintain, but increase. Um, Cody, um, awesome to have you here with us. A guy that sells 1,100 cars, that's like a car sales ninja. Um, you're 28 years old. He's married. He's got two kids. Cody, introduce yourself and rock and roll, brother. It's all you. Yeah, um, again, I'm Cody Carter. I work as an internet manager in Orange County for Toyota. Um, it's been a, it was a crazy year last year. It was over double the year prior. Did 495 in 2018, going to 11 or 1,070 in 2020, uh, 2019. Um, so wow. it was a huge increase. Um, the biggest priority to me always is going to be leasing. It's like the lease game is where it's going to be huge for everyone, that constant customer retention. You're seeing people come back every three years. So that's big for me um, in finding out what scenarios are going to make sense for your customer. We got, you know, we all have customers that are looking for affordable payments, especially in this current time. Um, people are a little stressed out. Sure. Um, but that, that's the, the biggest thing for me is, is, is finding out what works, what doesn't work and, and spending time, right? There's a lot of time um, that goes into it on my end where basically I'll sit there. Today's a new, new, uh, new incentives for Toyota. So I spent a few hours this morning, run through every single scenario for every car to find out what that payment's going to be, what the sweet spot is for the dealer, for, for the customer. Um, and then I make a, a spreadsheet for that. So that helps us a ton. Um, and the big thing I always hear on, on my end is, you know, a thousand cars, right? right? They must be, you know, spooned to you. Um, but that's in reality, it's not the case. We, uh, it, I work super hard for those deals and, and, uh, just take, it takes time. It takes a lot of hard work and it didn't happen overnight you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. So you're not the house mouse. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we call it spoon boy, but, uh, yeah, we don't no, That's not me. Uh, we, and our store is pretty fair when it comes to that. They, uh, there's a couple guys that get deals, but I'm, honestly, I don't have the time. I, I, I have my own thing going. So, so you, you said a couple things, and I want to go back to where you just said prepare. Tell me about this morning. Tell me so, what you did this morning. So this morning was, I would say, it's an easy month for me because the way Toyota works, it's every two months are the big changes. But this morning I was up 7.30 waiting for the current incentives to come out. And once they release at about 8 o'clock, I'll go through and see what differed from last month to this month and make those changes on, on my excitement personal site for these lease deals. Um, Cause majority, probably 90% of what I'm doing is lease. Um, and so this morning I was just seeing what went down, which like in my, we lost some incentives for Tundras and things like that. Sure. To make those adjustments. And then I make a post about, Hey, this got better. This got worse. You know, these are the things to look out for. Um, sure that help drive more business. And, and you said, so, so you love and you treat this car sales industry business as your own business. Would you agree? Well, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a small business within a larger business, right? You, yes. you don't have to pay, for the, you're not paying for the inventory. You're not paying for most of the supplies. So you just focus on your part and do really good at what you do. Um, on my end, I've invested my own money to make things work the way I want it. Right. You said your own money. Oh yeah, it's there's a which lot means of, you you don't ask your dealership to build your dream for you. You're building your own dream. So I'll spend the money, and then on rare occasions, they're like, "Oh, by the way, can we can we give you something to help with that?" In certain cases, I'm cool with that. I'm like, "Okay, fine." Like originally, I have like this pen, right? Yeah, I bought the pens, a couple hundred bucks, some pens, and for a while, I was just paying for myself. And the dealer's like, "Well, let me pay for those, right?" Yeah. And when it came to like my personal website. Um, I didn't want any money because I want to control it, right? Because it's, it's my business. So I spent the money that took to make a website that works for me. And at the end of the day, I was like, yeah, I don't want any money because I don't want you to have any say. It's my business. Love it, man. That is so freaking awesome, man. And um, 
what is the uh, what, what is the preparation? You know, you were talking about doing these incentives and all that stuff. Um, number one, having your own website makes you be able to um, do your own lead generation, right? Yeah. So most of my leads are generated from my site. Um, the site I had a really basic version for a couple of years, where literally I was just running a spreadsheet, and people would get a hold of this link to the Google Docs, and you know they would share it with their friends and things like that. So that worked for two years. And I was like, well, it's kind of getting a little more advanced. There's too many options. It's hard to display. So in December, I, I launched a website um, and we've had about 2,700 subscribers since December. So it's it is awesome. Pretty, man. Yeah. And do you push your website every day? I mean, is it a part of your day? Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm constantly tweaking deals and, and finding scenarios because when I have the time, I'm like, okay, well, I, first this bank was good. Well, then this incentive changed or, what about this term? It's always about finding the sweet spot for every deal to make people want it, right? And that, that's what's a little bit different. I'm not sitting there waiting for the deal. It's let's create deals. Um, and yeah. those days- So you're yeah. fishing nonstop. Oh yeah. And there's always times where we talk about like, um, like, well, I want one more deal for the month or I need two more deals, right? And people are out there trying to find those deals. I'm like, fine, well, let me post this. I'll get a deal in an hour, you know, if, if I need that last deal, I'll get it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And so, and so you create your own website, you drive your own traffic. Lead gen is huge. You're not going to sit back and wait on the dealership. Let me ask you this out of all the cars that you sold last year, would how, what percent would you say were from your own lead gen? I'd probably Roughly. say um, 60, 70% realistically. That is amazing. Yeah. That is beautiful. And, and you created that, you know what your future is going to look like because you're creating it right now. Yeah. And the biggest thing is for me is, is with that lease game, you're constantly creating the, the pipeline for the future. Um, yeah. and a lot of, you know, I'm trying to be unique where instead of these 36 month leases, we were, I pushed 24 months really hard because we'll see them even faster. Um, oh yeah. So that that's huge. So you have a short term game and a long term game constantly playing. Oh yeah, it, you know I always wanted to display whatever is the lowest payment, right? That's because what people are looking for. Sometimes sure. that's not twenty four months, but a lot of times I'll be like, well, hey, for fifteen bucks, you know, we can go twenty four months, and I'll see you that much sooner. People get tired of cars anyways nowadays; they want the newest thing. Sure, I love it. And and something you said you did this morning. I always talk about this. Uh, it's I always I call it blocking, tackling, overcoming objections, being prepared. Right now, with everything that's going on in the world, you can either panic or you can prepare, right? I mean, there's one or two things that you can do. Um, give me your feel on, are you panicking right now or are you preparing? What are you doing? No, I'm pretty calm. I Right now, I'm working an extremely limited schedule, just a couple days a week, but I'm not really concerned about that. I, uh, I tell a lot of the guys on my team, I'm like, hey, if you guys are good with money, we'll be good for the, like, once you get past this month, it's going to be fine. Everything is going to get bigger. We're getting unique kind of calls right now. We're getting a lot of calls where people are like, well, my lease is up. What am I going to do? So these people are, are a little panicked, but that means they're going to be ready when, when we're going full swing. So the, I just tell them, don't worry. It, we're going to be perfectly fine. And you're preparing. Think, now watch this. You're not even in the car dealership today. You're in a hotel room. You're going to help your little brother. We had a conversation about this. Um, obviously, you're a leader. You love teaching. You love training. I know you believe in training hardcore. You were talking this morning about preparing uh, scenarios in advance, where if a customer oh, yeah. says, this doesn't work for me, you don't have to get up, go to your manager, leave the customer for 10 minutes. You actually are prepared to offer what's next at the table. Am I right? Yeah. So there's a ton of different scenarios that I have in advance it's, it's either just tw tweak the terms and things like that to, to make it work for everybody. Um, I'm also at a store that's a little unique where we have our, in the internet team, we all have our own desking so we can desk everything directly. Um, so that helps a lot. Yeah. So, so you're not relying on chances and you believe, I mean, in the beginning when you first started selling, you've been selling since you were 18 years old and you're 28. So you've been doing it for roughly about 10 years. Um, and you've come so far and I can definitely tell you're going to be one of the top salespeople in the country. Unbelievable. Uh, do you know where you rank in the country as far as car sales? Do you know? For Toyota, I rank number two. Number two in the country for Toyota? Correct. Yeah. Was, Man, that is badass. Dude. Yeah. Number one is kind of, 
he doesn't count, but <laughs> we'll beat him anyways. Oh, yeah, you're going to beat him. Um, that's amazing, dude. Okay, and then um, as you continue to grow and push yourself to the next level, obviously you want to sell 200 more cars than you did last year. Um, I would like to ask you, that press, that push, does preparing for scenario training, does that help you do that? Because time is money. It helps you do things faster. Oh, yeah. It's, it's always preparing. And, like, the way my schedule works on Fridays are essentially my Mondays, right? So I'll get up crazy early on a, fr on a Friday, and I'll get there two hours early just to run through a bunch of new things, check the current inventory. It's just being ready for what, what's out there. And I've noticed that when I come in that early, that's really changed everything. Um, you know, I've almost I've considered coming in earlier another day too, but at least Friday, that my Monday, it's been a, a big change for me to be in there early and prepared. So you're always ahead of your competition, right? Oh yeah. You know, you always want to crush them at the end of the day. I love it, man. That's probably my favorite word. I always say crush it too. That's amazing, dude. I love it. Um, okay. So number one, uh, it's amazing meeting you. And obviously everybody right now, um, is just seeing somebody that's going to go very far in life. I would love to do this. There's so many, I mean, let's say we have 2 million salespeople in the country. I don't know what the number is. Let's say it's 2 million. What, what would you say to them if you had Cody advice? What would it be? Um, you know, honestly, it's, it's think big, think bigger than anybody else in your store, right? It's spend the time and the money to, to do something that's crazy, right? I've done plenty of things that work and a lot of things that don't work, but it, that's where I'm at. You know, people are going to hate you along the way. Um, there's plenty of guys that are, don't like what I do, but um, I think that's good. Yeah. Cause they're on the sidelines. Yeah. Nobody likes somebody on the field winning, man. Yeah. They're getting, they're getting left behind a little bit, but that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm working for me and my family and that, that's the most important part. I love it, man. You're amazing, dude. You're an inspiration to everybody. And at 28, you've come so far. And by the way, were, were, were you just blessed with like a, a gifted spoon? Were you rich coming out of high school? Would you just tell us what, when you started at 18, where were you? Can you tell that uh, real quick? So you know, last year of high school, I got kicked out of the house. And so I lived couch to couch. And I was working a small sales job, different industry. And then uh, I chased a girl to uh, Arizona. And I got an email one day saying, hey, do you want to come in for an interview to sell cars? All right. And I just said, reply back. Well, I'm not really interested. Um, I don't think it's for me. And they said, okay, well, we'll see you the next day. Anyways, just come in, came in, I was talking to him. I'm like, I really don't want to do a commission job. You know, I, I like what I'm doing now. Like, Oh, well, you know, these guys make five grand. I'm like, okay, five grand. Uh, you know, I'm in at, at 18, 19. That was decent. You know, and no, ever yeah. since then, I mean, it's been crazy. I love it. So, um, family background little chaotic no silver yeah. spoon am i right yeah you know i had a uh, i live with my dad and i had my uh my stepmom she was awesome and but yeah it was, it was a little different um and no big deal it, 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 you just gotta overcome you gotta work for yourself overcome man that's the magic word people that come from nothing can end up with the most it's a beautiful life um like i said i haven't got to know you you know like like a, like a brother, but I will tell you this, that um, everything that you say and every, every word that you said will relate to somebody in the country, somebody that right now, um, you know, doesn't have a lot, maybe is broke, maybe is struggling. How many times in your life have you been broke? Have you had nothing before? I mean, literally? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's been times like, like yeah, you know, I'm doing well now, but there's been plenty of times I'm like, oh, well, hopefully I get that check so I can put gas in my car, right? You know, that, that at one point that was when I was 18, that was the case, you know, just getting by. And, you know, I always say, I always want to be a little more on the humble side. I'm like, I'm doing well, yes, but there's plenty of other people that are doing great, you know, and it's not just about me. It's about the overall helping everybody. Yes. Dude, you're amazing, man. I think everybody will take something from today that will help them push to the next level in life. Cody, I appreciate everything that you shared with everybody and uh, your, yeah. your words are awesome. Um, I learned a bunch from you today. I'm just telling you, I learn every single day. And after 23 years, I literally meet somebody every, every day. And I'm just learning. It just never ends. How, how, do, you, do, you, do you feel like you still learn something every single day? Well, yeah, I, I always was told, like, if you, if you think you know it all, you're pretty much dead. It's, there's always something out there. And, and I'll see something scrolling through. I'm like, man, I want to do that. I wanna, how do I figure that out? And 
So it's, you got to learn. You got to always be changing. Love it, man. You're awesome, dude. Well, I can't wait to look back in a year from now, watch you hit uh, 1,300 cars. We'll have to do another one of these uh, at uh, 2021 in January so we can let everybody know where you finished, man. And uh, yeah, better work hard to get there then. <laughs> so we'll, we'll make it happen. You will, man. You don't, you, you definitely don't sound like a quitter and you definitely felt like, I always say there's a, there's a find a way people and then there's excuse makers. Excuse makers are going to say, well, this year is already a wash, right? I had goals. I had big goals. You know, we got hit with this virus. You know, you might as well just start planning for 2021 because this year's over. And then there's find a way people that say, nah, now nah, I'm going to find a way. Yeah, we got a lot of time. This will be over in a, in a month or so. Yep. And what you're doing during this time is preparing and getting ready. Am I right? Oh, yeah. And we're, I'm loading up for the future. There's a lot of people in the pipeline still. They're yeah. And, and instead of sitting around, you're training, preparing, going through solution ideas, and then also building that pipeline and getting ready. So once the, once the public says, all right, social distancing is over, you're going to come out of the cage like a dang wild animal. Am I right? Yeah. Even if the social distancing doesn't go away for a while, once these stay-at-home orders start to lighten up, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be huge. I think I the manufacturers it, are going to help us too. I love it. You're awesome, dude. Okay, man. Well, listen, uh, I appreciate it. Everybody, Cody's amazing, man. Um, if you need anything at all, you can comment below. And uh, he, like I said, he's in California, Orange County. Um, Cody Carter, amazing, 28 years old, wife, two kids, four and a six-year-old, right? That's correct. Uh, no, five, two and four. They both just changed uh, in March. It was a big one. You have more kids? You done? Well, my wife would like to have more. I think we're done. I think two is perfect. <laughs> and nice go, perfect. go have another baby. Go have another baby. Have one more yeah, baby. I would then the cars get more expensive. That's true, man. But go have another baby. Call Mandy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> have a good day. Hey, listen, it's great meeting you, Cody. You're amazing. Uh, everybody's going to take a ton from you today. And have a blessed day, brother. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, brother.